Okay, what we have here is a uh, 10 inch Logan lathe uh, and it's uh, pretty much like new and uh, we'll go ahead and turn it on and run it for you get a little closer get the camera set up here uh, that should do it pretty good right about there I'll go ahead and turn it on and uh, here we are Got it back here right now. You can see it runs nice and smooth. Everything's working good. On low speed on back here. Got to set change gears for it. Uh, got quite a few change gears here. I don't know. I think I'm missing the 16 and I don't know, maybe the 60 something I think but uh, anyway you can see it's working pretty good 1947 I'm gonna take it off the holder here and get a little closer all right there you can see she's uh, cutting pretty nice we're gonna turn it off and uh, let's see here we're gonna attempt to take it out of take it out of back gears uh, let's put the thing back in the holder and uh, we'll take it out of back gears and uh, see how it works. Uh, Alright, let's see here. Take it out of back gears, loosen up the belt. Turn that until it clicks in. There we go. Tighten up the belt. Pull that out. Let's see what she does now. There we go. Running in low speed on normal, normal gearing. Getting a little bit close there. Uh, all right. Take another cut. gear here and I made the uh, little shaft for the idler gear there and uh, that was my gear making project I don't know if you saw the video on the gear making but I that was a practice gear here it is here and uh, as you can see it's kind of goobered up but that's okay that was just a practice this one here turned out perfect 30 teeth and uh, cut a keyway on the lathe uh, for it and uh, everything worked good. This is uh, serial number 1729A and it's got a, a drill chuck there, Jacob's chuck, it's got some tools, it's got a uh, thing there and the uh, live center and uh, got some extra gears and uh, let's take a look in the back here. There's that gear I made. Turned out pretty good. Kind of proud of that. That's about the limit of my existence. This is a uh, old brush type motor. Got a starting switch in it. For some reason it clicks when it goes on. Works fine. I guess it's got a couple different pulley selections there that you can two or three of them change at. The uh, cabinet can go with it. Uh, got a nice cabinet there. I can figure out how to open it. There's the cabinet. It's got plenty of storage. Got storage in each end down there. The cart and the wheel does not go with it. But uh, anyway, there it is. And uh, 
If you have an interest in it, give me a call. I would say this thing is uh, in remarkable condition. It's been, uh, there's some surface rust on it. It's been sitting for many years, but you can see there's hardly a nick or a scratch or anything in that thing. Very little wear in it. And it, uh, here's the uh, model number. It's a Montgomery Wards. It's a uh, 74 TLC 2130 Montgomery Wards. Well, there you have it. Uh, get a hold of me if you have an interest in uh, owning this uh, fine piece of machinery. Uh, catch you later.